Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time this video finds you. My name is Frank Guest, and this is the Frank Guest YouTube channel. What I have uh, in front of me, I slide that a little more forward. There we go, make sure you can see that. What I've got down here below me is I have the, the uh, Jabra Panacast 50 soundbar, and I have the Crestron AirMedia 3200W. F. And when you put that together on the Crestron website, what you have is the UC SB P50 AW WF KIT. Let me break those numbers down for you. UC is for Unified Communication, SB is for Soundbar, AM is for the Air Media, WF is for the Wi Fi, and the KIT is because you purchased it as a kit. I'm sure most of you watching this video are very familiar with the Crestron Air Media and all the wonderful things that it can do for you. Uh, you can wirelessly present to the screen, like for instance, I have a television right here behind me. Uh, and as long as my computer and this Air Media are on the same network, I can then present my screen wirelessly uh, to the television. But what happens if you have a sound bar uh, in the room uh, like this Panacast 50? You know, you have to deal with USB cables, uh, you have to deal with HDMI cables, and, and the whole wireless thing kind of goes out the window. So Crestron has come up with this really neat uh, wireless conferencing solution, and basically what you can do is you can get this HDMI cable, uh, you can get rid of it, you can get this USB cable, and you can get rid of it, uh, you don't need it. All you need to have is this air media, uh, which is usually going to be installed right behind the television, and you have your sound bar, which is usually installed right below the television. You have a single USB connection going from the sound bar to the air media, and then you have an HDMI cable coming out of the air media and going into the television, and then of course you have your network cable. Now I've got the air media application open on my computer, uh, and you can see what I have on the screen right here. You can see in the bottom left hand corner, it has the IP address of the television. Uh, and then it also has uh, screen mirroring options and uh, for a Mac and for a PC. Uh, but, what we're, but we're not gonna do any kind of screen mirroring uh, in this presentation. We're gonna go strictly through the Crestron app. So once you open up your Crestron Air Media app, uh, you're gonna be prompted to enter in a IP address. And like I said, the IP address is on the lower left hand corner of your screen. Uh, and I'm going to enter that in, and I'm going to hit connect. And then up here on the screen, you're going to see a code. And for instance, right now, my code is 5378. So I'm going to type in 5378, and I'm going to hit enter. You can set it up so that code is different every time. And then presto. There ain't no strings on me. I am wirelessly presenting my screen up to the television. But like we said, that is old news. Crestron is making air medias. Crestron's been making air medias for a very long time. What is this uh, conferencing app about? Hopefully you can see the screen here. I'm just zoomed in on the television here in my basement. Uh, and if you are new to the air media, you have downloaded the Crestron air media app and you see on my screen, you see right here, it says conferencing and a start button. That conferencing and start button uh, will not be there until you download the conferencing um, peripherals. And I can show you exactly where to do that. So if you go to the Air Media website, or if you go to the Crestron website, which I have right here, and you scroll down to downloads and documentation, and then you continue scrolling down till you get to software and firmware, Right here in the center of my screen, you can see the Air Media Peripheral Installer. Air Media Peripheral Installer, and there is a download app right there. You click and you download that app. You close and you reopen your Air Media application, and it will look like this. And before I go any further, you may ask yourself, Frank, I already have a Crestron Air Media. Can I just purchase a Panacast 50? Uh, and then I'll have the kit. Uh, yes, you certainly can. But a nice thing about the conferencing software is you don't have to buy this soundbar. You can buy this soundbar. This is a great soundbar, and I have a review of this soundbar, uh, and I'll put the card to that uh, up here in one of the corners. But you can also 
purchase a Bose VB1 soundbar, uh, which I have right here, uh, and, or maybe you already had the Bose VB1 soundbar and you just want to add wireless presentation, you can just buy the Air Media and it will integrate the exact same. So these two soundbars are 100% uh, swappable. And I'll actually have an affiliate link down in the description uh, for this soundbar. And I also have a, uh, a separate review, uh, which I'll put up in, the, uh, up in the corner. Great soundbar, love it. Now, back to uh, this kit that I got from Crestron. So I'm going to, you can't see right now because you zoomed out pretty far, but I'm gonna hit that start button right there. It says setting up. Let me zoom back in on the display here. Now, if I were to open up my te Microsoft Teams and I was to hit meet now, start meeting, and hit join now, turn on my camera, And right now we're obviously using my camera that's built into my laptop. So if I go to my settings and I go to my device settings, I can do uh, my Crestron is going to be my speaker. My Crestron is going to be my microphone uh, and my camera. I want to switch to Crestron. And now what you're seeing is image from my Panic S50. And so if I come and stand over here and sit down, uh, the Panic S50 um, will come over and zoom right over and see me and see my guitars uh, that are right behind me. Uh, and anybody that's on the far end, they obviously will see this camera. And there are microphones that are built into this soundbar, just like there's microphones that are built into uh, the Bose VB1 over there. Uh, and there's also speakers. So anybody that is talking from the far end will come out of the speakers on the Job or Panicast and they'll see me from the video and they'll hear me from the microphone. Pop back over here to my laptop and really uh, that's it. It, it. it is as simple as that. You know, I am still connected uh, and there are 100% no strings on me. Uh, no strings connected to this. Uh, the HDMI cable I threw over there. The USB cable I, I threw over there. Uh, the only cables that I have on the desk right now are power for this which would be plugged in behind your display, the air media, which would be mounted to the display, and then a USB cable that goes from the sound bar to the air media. No strings uh, at all attached to my laptop. This is a really great way uh, to clean up your small uh, huddle spaces. Um, I mean, this, this sound bar is really for a small to medium size uh, conference room. Uh, same with the Bose VB1 or the, the Crestron sound bars or any of the, uh, there's, there's so many sound bars. Uh, there's poly sound bars. I've done reviews of those. I'll stick that uh, up in the corner as well. Uh, but if you guys or gals have any question at all about this great kit uh, that Crestron put together, uh, please, please leave them in the comment section below. And again, I will uh, tell you exactly what this model is. As we know, the Crestron naming convention is a little alphabet soupy. UC, SB, P50, AM, WF kit. Again, UC, Unified Communication, SB, Soundbar, P150, Panacast, P50, Panacast 50, AM, Air Media, and then Wi-Fi. So there's, there's three or four different 3200s. This one happens to be the Wi-Fi one, so it's the AM Wi-Fi, and then KIT for the kit. So thank you all tremendously uh, for watching this video. Uh, please, if you could do me a huge favor, smash that thumbs up button uh, and uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment. It certainly helps the YouTube algorithm get my videos out to all of you. So thank you very much again for watching. Have yourself a great day and enjoy. No strings on me.